Hi, welcome back to my channel. So I thought it was like long overdue that I do a video about each of my ferrets. So I'm gonna do this in two parts because I have four ferrets and some dogs. Let's try it. Hi, welcome back to my channel. So tonight I was decided that I wanna do a video on um, kind of like the story of getting my ferrets and then kind of a, a little bit about each of them and their personality. So I think I'm going to do this in two parts because I have four ferrets and so I don't want to do like uber long videos that no one wants to watch because they go on forever. What are you doing? I'm going to pan the camera around because I need you guys to totally see this little ferret of mine. Okay, so here's the story. Ow! Excuse the you. Am I in your way? I'm in your way. Oh, I'm so sorry. You want me to move? I'm in the way. Let me move over. Okay. Okay, for the 999th time, I'm going to start this video. So, okay, I have four ferrets, two sets of siblings, and this is is their story. My very first ferret was Weasel, right? Say hi. Hi, Weasel. Say hi, Boo. Look and say hi to say hi to everyone. This little munchkin was my very first baby that I got. And I love him. And Weasel is the sweetest ferret. He is so sweet. So I got Weasel on May 6th of 2018. At the time, Weasel was eight weeks old. He was born on March 11th. He wants to get down. He was born on March 11th of 2018 and I bought him on May 6th of 2018. Weasel's, a, like I said, he's so sweet. He's got this really loving, kind, just gentle, very gentle personality. He's never really been a biter. And you can tell that Weasel is Weasel because he's got this line on his head, see, right there? And he's got a specific face. He's got a very specific face. He's very unique, very specific. Oh, this is my lovey. This is my lovey. This is my little lovey right here. Oh, when we would go to ferret play dates, they would say he was a mama's boy. He would follow me to the moon if he could. So, Weasel's super, super sweet. At the time that I got Weasel, it was him and his sister, and I only, at the time, chose to get Weasel. About three days after having him, I really regretted that I didn't get his sister. So I went back, and his sister had was sick, and they had taken her to the vet, and she needed to be kept um, quarantined for till she got better. So I waited it out and I waited it out. And sure enough, obviously, thank goodness, she got better. And um, I was able to buy her too. So I got Lucy on June 3rd. So both Lucy and Weasel are siblings and they were both born on March 11th of 2018. Now Lucy, although Weasel and Lucy are siblings, their personalities are absolutely not the same. Lucy. So Lucy Jane is feisty. She is a feisty ferret. She has such a personality. She is devious and naughty and spicy. Um, she likes to just do whatever she wants to do. She's very independent. She wants attention, but she's not as like bears. I mean, um, Weasel's very like, oh, he wants you to pick him up and he wants you to play with him and he wants you to be around him. And the girls, Lucy, she wants, she just wants to do what she wants to do. And when she wants something, you will know it. But aside from that, Lucy's just a very independent little girl. <laughs> now I talk about them like they're children, but they really have such distinct personalities. A prime example of Lucy being independent is that I just found Lucy asleep. <laughs> so Lucy's the kind of ferret that like, she does what she wants. When she wants to play, she'll play. And when she's tired, she puts herself to bed and she just goes to sleep and she's done. Um, and she's okay with it. And that's just what she likes to do. She does what, Lucy does what Lucy wants to do. She doesn't, like, if she doesn't want to do something, you know it. If she wants to get down, you know it. If she wants to go to bed, you know it. She's tired. She's mad at me. Did mommy wake you up? 
but she still loves me. But she still loves me. And she keeps on kisses. Can you say hi to the people on YouTube? Say hi, YouTube. Say hi, YouTube. She's like, no. Um, so Lucy is very independent, but she's super funny. She's so funny. Um, she does, like, she wants attention. She wants to be in your lap. She wants to play. She's just sweet. She is very sweet, but she's also just very independent. So Weasel and Lucy were like a breeze. And we did everything. I took them everywhere. We went to ferret play dates at the store. So I just had Lucy and Weasel for the first 10 months. And then I was at a ferret play date. Um, I came across this little baby boy and little girl ferret. This would be my bear and my Ruby. And Ruby and Bear were born on December 23rd of 2018. And I got Bear in February of 2019. And I was like totally love struck. So this is my bear bear. He my little dark dark. My little dark bear bear. See my little baby. Say hi bear bear. I love you. Say hi. You're so cute. Oh you're so cute. His name was Gummy Bear actually. But I just changed it to bear. So we call him bear bear. And bear bear is super cute. Bear bear is very shy. He's not as outgoing as like Weasel, Lucy, and Ruby. He's very reserved. If he doesn't know you, he will hide. He doesn't, um, he's just not as, he does not like to really be picked up a whole, whole lot. He's very nice. You can pick him up, you can, you can love on him, and but he just, he's not, he's a very like shy and he's reserved. I mean, he gets along great. Him and Weasel, they play constantly. They, he plays with all the other ferrets. Like he's fine with my nephew. He's fine with our family, but he just in general is a much more like reserved ferret. If he doesn't know you or if you, if he, you know, he just is very, he's shy basically. Um, and so is Ruby. So Bear is super sweet. I've never really had any issues with Bear. Bear was never really, he doesn't bite in any sense of the word unless you put your face near his face. I do have a funny story about bear. Okay, so here's my funny bear story. I went to the beach last year and I didn't want to leave the ferrets at home with someone because it was for a week and I just felt like that was a lot of responsibility to put on someone because ferrets are, they re require a lot of time out of the cage and they require a lot of attention. At least my, I, my ferrets are spoiled. So I didn't want to ask someone to watch them and take care of them because it's a lot of work. So I took them with me to the beach. So we rented a beach house. I took the ferrets. I took the dogs. I left the cats with my mom. I left the fish in their tanks <laughs> and off to the beach we go. It's a 10 hour ride in one direction to the beach from my house where we went to the beach. So we get there and we set everything up. Everybody's cool. Everybody's in their cages or wherever they are. They're all chill. And I go to get Bear, and I go to wake up the ferrets to let them out. And Bear doesn't get up, and he's asleep. Now, I don't know if any of you know what dead sleeping is, but dead sleeping ferrets is basically a ferret that is, like, really asleep. I mean, asleep to the point where, like, you could bring a band through the room, and the ferret will not wake up. So, and there's videos on YouTube. When you're done watching this, Google dead sleeping ferrets, and you will be like, what the heck? So I have had, at this point when we went on vacation, I had had Weasel and Lucy for oh, almost for a little over a year. I had Bear and Ruby for about six months and I had never seen any of the four of them dead sleep. So I go to get Bear out of the cage and he is like a wet, limp noodle. Fair, it will not wake up. He will not wake up. He is like, he's asleep and I'm trying everything. I'm moving him around and I'm like, I start to panic because I have just traveled with him for 10 hours and I just didn't know if like something happened and I was unaware of it because I don't know, we were traveling and I was driving, I don't know. So I'm trying to wake him up and he's not waking up and I'm panicking. So it never occurs to me that the ferret is, his little body is warm and that he's breathing, like never crosses my mind. I'm literally in a panic. I'm, I'm 10 hours from my vet, I'm freaking out. So I try to give him mouth to mouth. This is a story that I tell now and laugh because it's funny in hindsight. At the time I was freaking ferret won't wake up. I literally am giving mouth to mouth to my little tiny ferret and he is not waking up. And I'm like, this ferret is dead. And then it occurs to me that he's <laughs> very much breathing. And he's also very much like he's alive. 
but he's not waking up and it freaks me out. So I go over to the sink and I like take a little bit of water and I like lightly flick it. He wakes up and he looked like he was like, and he was so upset and I like side to side of relief. And then I think I laughed at myself. I like to this day, I must've looked like a nut. And my poor husband, he was so patient. And he was watching me just flip out. He was trying to calm me down. And he was like, you know, it was just, Bear's fine. Apparently Bear is a, dead, a ferret that dead sleeps. So he does do that on occasion when he's really tired. Um, I wish, I wish, I wish I would have had it on camera because I must have looked like ridiculous. Anyway, Bear Bear's okay. And he is alive and well. <laughs> so back to the story. So Bear has been a pretty great, awesome ferret. How I got Lucy, which is Bear's sister, is that Lucy was purchased um, and then returned because the people that purchased Lucy, apparently, and I don't know the whole story because I don't know who these people are, but I just know the story from me purchased from me getting Lucy. So they got Lucy and they brought this, they brought her home to their house, and apparently she didn't get along with her other ferret, but they only had Lucy for about, I guess, maybe a day and a half. So I don't know if there was like an integration process that didn't happen or wasn't done correctly. I'm not really sure what happened, but they brought her back to the store. And of course I get a phone call from my awesome friend and she's like, got this little baby and they brought her back and, and, I, and we all felt terrible. And she was also Bear's sister. And then I started to think, well, you know, I got a set of siblings and now I got three and three is a crowd. I'm overthinking this, but whatever. Make a long story short, I justified my to myself why I needed another ferret, and we got Ruby Jane. So, Ruby Jane is mine. <laughs> and she's super sweet. She is very shy. She is the shyest ferret that I have, and she hides. She's also very outgoing, and when she's familiar with you, she is just a mess. And she is up in your face, and she wants you to play with her, and she's always into something, and she's always climbing on something, and she's always... Everywhere she's not supposed to be. If there is a ferret on the table, if she is on top of the cage, any of all the ferrets, Lucy is the one that, I mean, Ruby is the one that you will find anywhere but where she should be. Say hi. Say hi, Rube. This is Ruby. Say Ruby loves her mama too. Say hi, Ruby. Is <laughs> that my climber? Is that my little climber? Will you say hi? Oh, hi. My baby. Oh, you're my little baby. Oh, you're so sweet girl. All right, so that is how I got my little ferret babies, Lucy, Weasel, Ruby, and Bear. And I love them so much, and they just bring me so much joy. So um, thanks for watching this video. If you liked this video, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.